In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. I would like to share with you now a reading from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 1 through to 12. In the meantime, when an innumerable multitude of people had gathered together so that they trampled one another, he began to say to his disciples, first of all, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be, be not known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light, and whatever you have spoken in the ear in the inner rooms will be proclaimed on the housetops. And I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins? And not one of them is forgotten before God. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore. You are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say to you, whoever confesses me before men, him the Son of Man also will confess before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But to him who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven. Now, when they bring you to the synagogues and to the magistrates and authorities. Do not worry about how or what you should answer or what you should say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Come, Holy Spirit, to the hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your word. Open our eyes and our ears to your teachings. In this scripture reading today from St. Luke, he is very much preaching, Jesus is preaching against hypocrisy. Those hypocrites, and of course he was having a go at the Pharisees and Sadducees and lawyers and they say one thing and do the opposite. How many people do you know like that? Yes, there are many hypocrites in the world. But Jesus is saying for us not to be such. If we say, for instance, oh yes, we're a Christian. But don't behave like a Christian. Aren't we too being a hypocrite? Hmm? Think. Yes. There are many more messages in here. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, Jesus said, which is hypocrisy. So we must be very careful. Whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light. And what you have spoken in the ear, in the inner rooms, will be proclaimed on the housetops. And I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, 
and after have no more than they can do. But I'll show you whom you should fear. Fear him who after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yes, they may kill us, but that's all they can do. But it's when they turn us against God, when we sin, turning our backs on God, that is something entirely different. And then Jesus goes on and talks about sparrows and what they're worth. Yes, but we are worth more than many sparrows. And here's another important message. Also I say to you, whoever confesses me before men, him the Son of Man will confess before the angels of God. Don't be afraid to confess Jesus Christ as your Saviour and God. In this world, we should be proud to be Christians. Never fall into that trap to be like everybody else and not different. We are different. If we are baptized Christians, we are different. We must practice our faith and be different. Do not go along with the crowd or we will be dragged into hellfire. And then Jesus goes on. Anyone who speaks against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But to him who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, this will not be forgiven. Yes, important. The Holy Spirit. Now, another important message. Now when they bring you into the synagogues and the magistrate and authorities, do not worry about what you are to say or how you say it or what you should answer. For the Holy Spirit who is with us, who is in us, will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. I say a lot to you to pray to the Holy Spirit for help. It should become second nature to trust in the Holy Spirit. When we fail to trust in the Holy Spirit, we blaspheme. Yes. The Holy Spirit, all loving God. He will guide you. He will help you. He will give you the words to say. He will help you in your prayers. And if you have so much difficulty, you can't find the words, the Holy Spirit who knows what is in your heart will pray it for you. He knows, God knows what is in our hearts. He understands. For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Thanks be to God. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.